Folks, I'm finally back in a tree. It's Friday afternoon. It's quarter after three. Got about two hours of good shooting light. That's not much. It's uh, it's December the 22nd, Friday before Christmas. So I'm off till the day after Christmas. I've got four days I can hunt. don't know if we're gonna make it to the big woods or not um, if not I'll be hunting here on the farm so as you can see my cover is all gone the leaves have sh the trees have shed all the leaves so I have no cover I just got to be really still and aware so according to the cameras there's a couple of halfway decent bucks that come are still working around in here so if, if one of them comes in and gives me a shot with the bow I may take it I'm here for a buck only I'm not here to kill any does not right now So, I got the wind directly in my face. It's a northeast wind. It's perfect, right in my face. Taking my wind right out over this open area behind me. And where the deer generally come from is right here, over my left shoulder. Especially on this wind. I should be okay if they're coming along the marsh and in that swamp and they come out here. I should be okay, and if they come out anywhere up here ahead of me, I should be in good shape. Or over here, to the right. So, there's a, that's, when you're hunting food, I mean, it doesn't look like much, like much, but this is a food plot. And believe it or not, there is some small stuff in there that they nibble on, some green stuff. Plus, I've got the feeder here. And so, whatever corn it put out this morning, it was cleaned up good, but it looks like mostly turkeys. So there may be some deer in here this evening, we'll see. But when you're hunting food, the rule usually is that deer are gonna come from anywhere. You just never know. And that that has proven true in here, I mean, but before they cut all the timber in here, it was thick woods all the way around this plot. So naturally they would come from anywhere. So now that it's been cut, the does especially like to stick close to their cover. So they usually come out over here or over here out of the swamp. Or they come from this way where they can follow what little bit of woods line there is left over there. So I'll, 
if I have this place to hunt next year, I'll probably be moving a couple of stands into some different positions. So I'm up in the air about what I'm going to do this weekend. If it turns out that we're not going to the big woods at all, I may bring a hang on with some uh, portable steps and go down here in this swamp somewhere set up or someplace where I've never had a stand. Just do a hang and hunt type deal. I may do that. Depends on what the weather and the wind's doing. Just to do something different because most of the pictures that I'm getting of any decent bucks are right down here in front of this other stand. At, down here at the edge of the swamp. I didn't want to go to it today because if, as I say, if I'm not going to the big woods this weekend, I may want to go in there and just pull an all day hunt right there in that stand. So I didn't want to go down there and risk leaving my scent behind down there this evening. So, got a couple hours to see it. It's a beautiful afternoon. It's a little warm, it's about 60. But when the sun starts falling down below them trees, it'll get chilly quick. So, y'all keep watching. If we don't kill something, maybe we'll at least see some deer.
well. That just goes to show you. You never know. This deer came in quartering into the wind. Came in here. And they were more focused on the turkeys than anything else. They never looked up at me. And I'm sitting up here naked, no cover. I'll try to show you my view from here a few weeks ago as opposed to what I've got now. But they came over here, they got cleaned up the corn, what the turkeys had left. They walked around here and left right out behind me, dead downwind of me. They never got me. But they've gone on out of sight now. There was some deer out here in front of me earlier, and, it, and it's very possible it's the same deer. They may have made their way around to the other food plot and then came through here. I don't know that for sure. Maybe a different group of deer, I don't know. But anyway, it's always nice to get in the stand and have deer around you. It beats not seeing anything. Anyway, that's probably going to be it today. But I'm going to sit here. We're fast approaching buck 30. It is 5.06, which is sunset. So i got 30 more minutes legally. But with the bow, I can't see that long. i probably got about 20 minutes of shooting light left, maybe maybe 20 minutes. So anyway, thanks for watching the video. And until I see you in the next one, there you go.